So here we have stir by koi cat eggs that are just over three days old. They're about to hatch. Usually takes for me about three and a half days. And as you can see, the eggs are really dark. And the lines, those are the fish developing inside. And I have about 15 eggs, I think. But these are the three day old eggs. And then here's what eggs look like that were laid yesterday, right here. They're clear, white, nothing has developed yet inside of them. And then I have uh, lots of little uh, koi fry in there that I moved out of this container, which is just like a little tote or a little, I don't know what you call it, just a little container. I put a sponge filter and some java moss in there. And then there's just baby guppies in this tank with little koi fry and an ancestor's clarel pleco and some uh, blue shrimp, blue dream shrimp, I think. And I just moved them out of here to make space for these guys that'll hatch probably later today and or tonight. So I'll try to, you see the little eggs moving. Those are the fish squirming inside of the eggs. But uh, I'll try to record them later when the eggs have hatched but you know, it's pretty cool to watch all the little eggs come to life all right so it is eight hours after the last little part of the video i get the lighting right and here's the uh the eggs, the eggs have started getting little tiny tails on some of them, and like parts of the egg have begun to like come off, but they look really good. And when they hatch, which I'll film in the morning, um, we'll see the little fish and they'll have egg yolks, really fat bellies, and they'll be able to swim around a little bit, <clears throat> but they don't like swimming around too much till after their egg yolk's gone. So, yeah, see you tomorrow. Alright, so it is the next morning, and we have little fry that have hatched. Just a sec. It's hard to focus on these little guys. There we go. See some of them still are in the eggs, but they have their tails sticking out. Some haven't hatched at all. And then some have completely hatched and are just chilling there. There's the old eggs around the little container. And that, some of them just swim around. If you, if you just scare them like that guy but this is the first day that they hatch that's what they look like right after they hatch the giant yellow thing is their yolk sac so they won't eat anything till that yolk sac is gone and see their little fins and everything but they're super cool all right we'll check in later it is day two after hatch. This is the second day that the fry have been alive. Um, as you can see, 13, I counted them, 13 of the fry have hatched. And one looks like it's about two, the one on the left, it's got more of the clear egg, and then the other one hasn't so we have all but two that have fully hatched and now that they're all pretty much free swimming I think it is a good time to add them into our 
little container. Show you what we got. So we got a sponge filter, some Java moss, and I have a heater right there. I'll add that in real quick, and then we will add the fish to this container. All right, we are about to add the fish to the container. I had to let my heater heat the water up to the same temperature as this. And another thing to note is that the water that is in this container and the sponge filter were from my already existing tanks. So I siphoned out water from this tank, put it into this container, and I a while ago I switched that filter out of that tank and put it in here. So that way it is an existing it's all existing water and filter, so that way the bacteria um, and everything sort of cycles the little container, and the fish will be more likely to survive than just using fresh water from the tap. And here we go. I turned the... Um, filter off just for a moment while we add these little guys because it's kind of hard to see them There's one more, two more. So they're all in there. Kind of just laying across the bottom. They like to do that a lot when they're uh, small, is just lay. But they're all in this tank now, or this container. And hopefully they do well. So I'll turn the filter back on and we'll check in with them um, and at a later date. What's up, guys? So this is a week after, um, after the fry have hatched. Let's take a look here. Try and get the best view. There's one. They started to start swimming around a bit. And then I bet if I come over here and I lift the filter out of the water, I usually always see a ton that like to hide underneath of it. I counted about eight earlier today. I started off with 13 and I have at least eight. I picked out one that didn't make it and I think the other two eggs that didn't hatch already when I put them in, I don't think that they hatched either. I don't know if it it's because I put them in here and it changed, the water changed, but I don't think that was it. I just think that they didn't hatch because I had that happen last time. This is my little third little batch that I've spawned. And it's all been in two, less than two weeks ago to now. And I'll show you some eggs that I have collected right now. Just a sec. So here, 
We have stir by Cory Cat eggs, which are the smaller ones, and then the bigger ones are the Adolfoy eggs that I happened to find yesterday in my tank, and I didn't even know that they were ready to start laying eggs. The Adolfoy ones are those three that are really big on the bottom half of the screen. And then I have six stir by Cory Cat eggs and three Adolfoy. Fry are a week and a day old. See them? They're about the size, if not a little bigger than a baby guppy, like a couple day old baby guppy. There's eight. I started off with 13. And I have eight. And I'm going to put there's just a little tiny bit of water left. I siphoned the rest into this bucket. So that way if I sucked out any babies, I could see them. And there are none in there. And I'll pour the rest of this water into this container. And then acclimate the fish to my little 10 gallon tank that has guppies and ancestors cleroplecos in there. And where I have put the other little baby guppies, or stir by quarry cat fry, and that way they can start living. And I also have my eggs in here that are about to hatch. You can see they're all dark. There's two, uh, there's three adult foy eggs and six stir by quarry cat eggs. And then in this one, there are the day old eggs that are almost two days now, two day old eggs that are developing. And in here, there's like 29 eggs that I just collected out of the stir by Cory cat tank. They all laid them today. So I gotta make room for the new babies that are gonna hatch. So he doesn't wanna move around. There he is. So here's a stir by Cory Cat Fry. That is about two weeks old. I just cleaned the tank. And he's out looking about. They look super cool, and he's starting to do the same things that uh, the adults do, sift through the gravel.